<laughs> okay. Looks like we are ready to go. We're getting thumbs up on this side. With uh, with go. Ashley Birch. So uh, and so you can ask her uh, questions either in the chat or uh, in the comment thread, and we will take ones that look interesting. So, hello, hello. Ashley. Hello, everyone. Yay. Hi, Yay. Ashley. Yay. Hi. Welcome to the bus. We are. Yeah, thanks. Feels good. We are celebrating because. You're here, and also that the whole system worked, so we can actually see you properly. Hey. So, yay. <laughs> That's always helpful. Yeah. Well, thank you uh, very much for calling in. Of course. Thanks for having me. <laughs> As everybody runs <laughs> into the room. <laughs> the crowd is gathering to ask you many questions. <laughs> Brace yourself. So uh, uh, now we, we uh, talked a little bit about uh, uh, who you are and what you do, uh, and your bio is on the webpage, of course. but. For those of people watching, if maybe you want to just give a quick, quick summary of your vast accomplishments. <laughs> um, I am. Uh, my name is Ashley Birch. I got started um, doing a web series called "Hey Ash, What You Playing?" with my brother Anthony Birch. Um, and now I voice act, so I'm um, the big ones. Let's see, uh, Tiny Tina in Borderlands Two, um, Chloe in Life is Strange. I'm Cassie Cage in Mortal Kombat uh, Ten. <laughs> And, uh, or X, I guess. Uh, and what else? Uh, I'm a few characters in Fallout, which I've challenged everyone to try to find and, and kill all of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, and I, uh, I work for Rocket Jump, which is Freddie Wong's company. And I uh, write for Adventure Time. And those are the things that I do. Nice. Yeah. I, I, Hello, do you, as a voice actor, is that something that you, you have to say fairly often? It's like, I'm quite a few people in this game. I am, <laughs> I'm 10 people. Hi. You know that, um, I think, I'm trying to think if um, Fallout 4 might be the first game that I play multiple characters in. I'm trying to think. Um, I mostly do that in animation, so if I do any animation work, I'll do multiple voices in an episode of a show or whatever. Um, but for games, I think Fallout 4 might be one of the first that I was like three different characters. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, there, we, we, have, uh, we have questions, uh, people in the chat, obviously, and uh, on our uh, blog and stuff. I mm -hmm. mean, of course, the first question people are asking is, uh, or what you're playing. <laughs> and why? And why is it not Desert Bus? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave you, you capable folks, to uh, to play Desert Bus. But um, I haven't been oh, playing much of anything word. recently because I've been oh, crazy busy. But um, when I have moments, I'm I've been playing Destiny Taken King because it's super fun. Um, and I've actually never played an MMO before, like in earnest. So this is nice. And a bunch of people from Rocket Jump play. So. Um, and I just recently reached level 40, and my light level is garbage, so I have to hop back on and actually do some work. But um, Destiny, and then I hope to start playing Fallout 4 as soon as my life calms down a little bit. Nice. There's uh, a lot of, lot of love for uh, Life is Strange. Oh, here. thanks, guys. Someone's saying uh, uh, life, uh, life is Strange proved to be a very emotional roller coaster for me. Uh, did it ever get difficult uh, for playing Chloe? You know, it was... Um, it definitely became very emotional for me, too. I wouldn't say difficult, uh, just because I actually really appreciated the opportunity to... I just really appreciated the opportunity to, um, to even go there and to have a character that allowed me to go into more emotional and uh, deeper emotional spaces. Um, but yeah, the scene in, um, there's the big, the big, um, basically all of, all of episode three, honestly, was very, very emotionally charged. And um, I remember after recording it, Hannah and I had just been sobbing and I had to go into a rocket jump after and I was just exhausted. <laughs> it was during, because uh, we're, we're releasing our show, uh, Rocket Jump the Show on Hulu soon. And it was during that stretch of time. I recorded that episode, I think, during pre-production for the shooting of that show. Um, so I was just like, I came in and I was just like, like my mascara is all smeared and I just came in and I was like, what's, what's going on guys? <laughs> um, but, uh, 
Yeah, it, it was it was a very very emotional experience for me, and I connected to Chloe very deeply, and um, yeah, uh, very. Uh, I had some postpartum depression when, when we finished recording that game, to be totally honest. But yeah, it, it makes me happy that so many other people responded to it, and it was so important to them too. Well, it's in in somebody's. Uh asking what how, how the the fan reaction has been to the the finale and i guess it has been very uh people have really responded to it eh? yeah most people i got a lot of <laughs> I, oh man it's kind of it's i feel uh, it's it's amazing and it's also like it's heartbreaking because i just got a lot of tweets and stuff of people being like I'm sobbing. I don't know. <laughs> like, I got so many tweets of people just being like, I've just been crying for hours. I'm like, I'm sorry, but also you're welcome, I guess. Um, yeah. So the finale, I think the finale was really, it was, it was, uh, it was a whole thing uh, emotionally for a lot of people, including me. Uh, uh, I like this, this actually, this is B. Uh, what kind of video game boss would you be? I quite like that. <laughs> like what, what type or, or a specific one? Uh, what, what, what type, you know, would you, be, would you be really like one of those really like annoyingly hard bosses? Or would you be like a fun, a f fun or like you need like a special gimmick in order to beat it? Or, you know, what, uh, what's your... You know... The first one that came to mind for some reason was um, in Ocarina of Time, the witches that you have to reflect the different, you know, you have like the mirror shield and you have to like reflect their, their, their magic back on the other person. Uh, there's only one of me, but I imagine like doing the Ganondorf thing where I split and then you have to like find the real one and uh, I don't know why, but that was, <laughs> that was my knee jerk reaction to that question. So a combination of, of the Ganon uh, parlor trick and also having to like redirect magic. I don't know why. I like that. Everybody in the chat is very excited about your tiny Dalek in the, uh, in the corner of your shot. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, he's my, he's my doorstop. Uh, <laughs> I have, uh, I've uh, domesticated him. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, there's a, you can't see actually all the nerdy stuff that I have in my room. He's it's very like, angry it's... all the time, but he can't do much because he's the doorstop. Yeah, he's, just, he's just super pissed at anyone that tries to, tries to close my door. Uh, actually, behind my door is a really awesome Halloween castle print. Uh, that's about all you can see. Huh? And then Anthony actually commissioned uh, me kicking River Song. I don't know if you can see it. It's a picture of me and David Tennant kicking River Song. <laughs> nice. I really, I really don't like her. <laughs> Which might be, you know, controversial, but I'm not a huge Stephen Moffat fan. Uh, Exterminate. That's for you, general misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, people, uh, some saying big fan of uh, Muzzled. Uh, so oh, you in sweet. Muzzled. Saying... Uh, is what would you say your big influences are for your sense of humor? That you use? Ooh, that's you know. Okay, so I watched uh, an insane amount of cartoons when I was younger, and now and still do. I don't know. I said when I was younger. Um, <laughs> well, you did it when you were younger, and you still do it now. Yeah, and that's I still fine. Do it now. Something that carries I carry with me. Um, but basically, anything that was on Cartoon Network, we just Anthony, I just watched all the time. So, um, and the big ones were like Dexter's Lab and Powerpuff Girls. Um, I think those had a really good sense of comedy. And then, like, Freakazoid and uh, Animaniacs. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, we actually watched, we probably shouldn't have, but we watched a lot of stand-up comedy when we were younger. Um, so we watched, like, Chris Rock and Eddie Murphy and George Carlin. None mm -hmm. of these are appropriate for children, but we did it anyway, uh, which probably, <laughs> yeah, you could say that, That's actually, right like, George Carlin, that's actually, like, his specific, his thing is that... Using yeah. all sorts of words that you shouldn't be using in front that of children. You be using. Yeah, um, we might even watch some Richard Pryor. I can't remember, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, and we played like you know a lot of the Lucas Arts games. You know, we, we, there's Sam and Max and Day of the Tentacle and Toon Struck. We we played a lot of those. So I think, and I think we gravitated toward that a lot. So. And then as we grew older, I think it became stuff like, you know, we got really into British television when we were younger. So we watched a lot of Spaced um, and um, I think 
we started watching Doctor Who and then anything else that David Tennant was in ever again after that because we love him. Um, stuff like that. And then just started uh, following other stand-up comedians as we grew older too, like Eddie, Eddie Izzard um, and Louis C.K. and stuff like that. So, yeah. I just got a, kind of a... Con- we, just, uh, we just fucking consumed media. So just a confluence of things. But, um, yeah, it's hard to pinpoint specifically. But we did... We watched a, and, and played and, and read a lot of stuff. Uh, asking about uh, somebody asking about Adventure Time. Say, mm-hmm. What's uh, what's your the your favorite episode that you've been in or even I guess you do you do voices for it as well as writing for it or? Yeah, uh, none of the episodes that I have helped write have come out yet. Um, uh. But um, I actually got involved with Adventure Time because of the episode Breezy, which is um, a character I play. Uh, the, the episode is called Breezy and I play Breezy. She's a bumblebee and she sings and it was amazing. Uh, that's probably my, that's my favorite one that I've been involved with for sure. Um, I felt really, it, there was also like a major plot point that happens in that episode. So I just felt really cool that I <laughs> got to be in that one. Um, and it's also just a very, very good one. Um, very, very good episode. Jesse Moynihan, who has written a bunch of amazing Adventure Time episodes, storyboarded them and everything. Um, that was his episode, and it's 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 great. It's really really good. Um, I think it's season. What are we on? We're on seven, so it was season six. Um, so yeah, if you are not caught up, or if you have watched, I am I am Breezy the Bee, <laughs> in the episode Breezy. Uh, are there some? Uh, do you do you have? Characters. I mean, obviously, you can't talk about stuff that you're current that's currently happening. But uh-huh. characters that you would, you know, you're sort of in your fantasy, you would want to do uh, voice acting for, or, or you know, where you would want to work on a, a new IP, or whether you would like to work on some people, you know, some characters that are in either video games or or uh, cartoons or something, something like that's. Is is there any kind of characters that you really wish you could do? I mean, I uh, really, I am uh, obsessed with the Mass Effect universe. So playing literally any character, even if it was like an Asari that has one line, <laughs> like <laughs> walking, you know, walking by you in like a fucking, I don't know, space station or something. Um, I love Mass Effect. So in an ideal world, I would get to be a, uh, a Solarian in Mass Effect. Um, cause I love Morden. I love him so much. Um, and, uh, and then as far as animation, uh, I think Steven Universe is an incredible show. It's so good. So even being a bit part in Steven Universe would be really cool. Hmm. And saying, if you were a crystal gem, what gem would you be? Is actually what the next oh, hey. question along. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, what gem would I be? Um... I think I would be, I'd probably be a fusion between rose quartz and, and a pearl, I think. Wow. I definitely have the anxieties of, of a pearl, <laughs> um, but, uh, and I guess maybe I aspire to be more of a rose quartz, um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not a full on pearl, but I got some pearl in me. So, a, a fusion with a pearl. I don't know exactly who, but yeah. Now, uh, just uh, don't want to take too much of your time, but uh, there was we did right. try. We we were talking about in previous years we've had uh, things where we're, we're collecting information from people who phone in. Uh, mm-hmm. So we have sort of one question that we're asking everybody, and we uh, I think the one we decided on this year was. Uh, who is your favorite superhero and why? That's hard. <laughs> That's a hard one. Um, I can say who it's not <laughs> off the top of my head. Let me think. Um, <laughs> Which superhero do you hate? <laughs> if you were, if you that, were that a works. villain, that, that, that if you works. were a villain, whose who's arch rival would you be? <laughs> That was a That's, yeah, maybe we'll change the question. You're yeah, the first person like to call it, in, like so maybe we'll change Paul. the question. We'll change the question? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to change. You, gotta, you guys have to. No, no, it's good. Like you're the first one. I like that. 
Okay, my favorite my favorite superhero is uh, the Hulk. Uh, but not like the like the Mark Ruffalo esque Hulk. Uh, is probably my favorite. And then um, if I was a villain, the superhero that I would fight would probably be Batman. Is is that no, man, because like you just gotta stop the brooding thing? Is just come on now, let's get over it. Too, too much brooding. <laughs> mm-hmm. Would that would that be like your like the the like if Batman captures you and you have to do like your monologue for like no this is you know you have to ex- tell him why you had to do this terrible thing? It'd be like because you're so brooding. I just couldn't. <laughs> you're take boring. It. Everyone thinks you're awesome, but you're super boring. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. Thank you. I love uh-huh. that. $9 nemesis. $9 nemesis. No works. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, you, you have been off a lot there, taking on Batman as your nemesis, though. I know. On the I other hand... I lose, but I would get, hurt his feelings in the process. So. Yeah. <laughs> on the other hand, when, you capture, when he captures you, you're just going to go to Arkham Asylum, and then you can escape in, like, 10 days. And Yeah, which is what but happens Isn't anyway. hurting his feelings just going to make him brood more? Yeah. Shit, you're right. <laughs> maybe Sorry, my, just my maybe my villain, my like master villain plan is just to make him happy. Mm. It's just to have, it's, find a way to make him have a happy life. So I have to. The, the <laughs> Joker's just, been trying that for a while, and it hasn't really panned out. Just have to give him a piece of out. rose quartz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I guess uh, this is sort of slightly related. That somebody wants to know your favorite. Um, Female gaming character, female character in gaming. In gaming? Yes. Besides Chloe Price. <laughs> so. uh, that is a big question. Uh, Commander Shepard is kind of a cop out because I mean it's not though because Jennifer Hale's performance is like so it's universal and specific. She's incredible in it. So um, my Commander Shepard, <laughs> I guess, is is uh, one of my favorites. But as, as far as like a character that you can't select, the, like it's a, a defined female character. Um, I have to think about that. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I actually love Clementine in The Walking Dead. Um, and although she, it mostly just because I wanted to, to take care of her. So there's that, that connection there. But um, Tally's a great character. Um, Liara, Liara, actually, it might be, it might be Liara. Because Liara is. She's got this amazing um, change that happens to her throughout the games, and in specifically my relationship with her. Um, because when I played the game, uh, we, we were a couple in Mass Effect 1, and then I met Thane in Mass Effect 2, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, Liara, I'm on the Thane train now. Uh, <laughs> and, um, and then when you see her again in Mass Effect 2, she is the, she's the new Shadow Broker, so... Um, she's sort of scary and, and intimidating. And you're like, who's the, I, I used to, we used to be a thing. How are you this person now? I don't understand. Um, and then the entire rest of the game, you basically see where she's like, there are undertones of her just still being in love with Shepard, but just accepting that that's not something that's happening between them anymore. And in the ending of Mass Effect 3, when you have that moment when you're saying goodbye to everyone and she like merges with you and she just puts her head on your shoulder I was like, oh, God, it, like, broke my heart. <laughs> I was like, Liara's still in love with me. Fuck. Um, but she's just so, I don't know. She's just, like, really nuanced. And, like, she has this, like, quiet loneliness to her. But she's still so, like, strong and interesting and smart. And I really like Liara, actually. So it might be Liara. Unfortunately, that there's not that many to choose from. <laughs> so um, uh, that are any good. Uh, but that's changing, actually. So Awesome. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for thank calling you. in. Of course. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll let you go, but uh, we will uh, continue driving on the bus. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for calling. And uh, we will. I think we've got uh, all sorts of awesome stuff coming up. So I yeah, hope, stay uh, tuned, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Enjoy the bus, guys.